truth in plain sight um hey guys today i want to show you how the celestial works uh, not in a nutshell but in a teapot um and why did i say truth in plain sight because god reveals the truth through creation through his own design okay and um whatever belongs to the heavens is different from what belongs to the earth right but it works with the same laws okay i mean as at least physical laws so i had this teapot with green tea in it and i'm spinning it okay so there is a liquid and there are solids in this liquid and due to this universal equilibrium which means a balance a universal balance of densities you will see flakes at the surface of the water which are less denser than other flakes of the tea right and you will find them at the bottom of the water and at the top on the surface you will find the less denser flakes and these stand for the stars okay or planets as they call them anything that is up way up in the sky okay is less dense than the particles or also gases and then later liquids and solids that are below that okay and that's why you see them almost like um, levitating in the sky right and that's also the reason why we humans are found on earth and not somewhere else in this universe because there is this equilibrium this balance and our bodies are made of solids that belong to the earth right so we are dense enough to be walking uh, on the ground and not float in the into the air right that is where you find life on earth and in this case of the teapot the teapot is standing on flat earth which is non-rotational okay solid ground non-rotational not spinning what spins is the celestial bodies right that are floating on top of gases because they themselves are made of gases that are very light less dense for example than air or what there are other reasons why they uh, float and these are radiation for example but in general this is a good way to visualize what's going on in the heavens and why it's the heavens that are turning and not the earth and i can't exactly tell you how it's turning but one thing you have to have to know is that anything that slows down this turning process goes almost to zero when you have a space that is close to vacuum okay so you don't have the same you have the same physical laws but you don't have the same results on earth as in heaven that's what i meant at the start because on earth when you turn this right at some point it stops because everything is very tired so to say it's very dense very heavy compared to the rest of the universe or compared to the heavens so that is why it slows down very fast and easily but if you were to put this up in the sky and you have then objects like the moon or the sun that are just the sun for example a ball of heat that is fusing atoms and creating light so therefore an energy then they could like float there forever right at least in in our perception it feels like they could be floating there forever and all this because of densities and 
resistance because air since it's more dense than other gases has a very high resistance compared to those gases that are above the air okay so if you put up a satellite above the atmosphere you don't need much fuel actually to be stirring it to be moving it around right if you put it into one speed it almost keeps its speed without you ever having to fuel it again because it floats on a level where there is no air and that means less resistance but there are other gases that will resist but not as much as air that's what you have to understand okay